Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today I'm going to bring you another review on our Big Blue solar panel. It has officially been three years now that we've been using it. And so if you're looking at one of these, it's going to be a great review because we have used this thing every single day. Well, pretty much every single day as long as it's not raining out. Um, since we are full-time off-grid and we've been in pretty much every weather, uh, every elevation possible with this thing. We have three dogs that like to walk on it on, and stuff like that. So this review is going to be just kind of a to show you pretty much what the quality is like and if it's still working and what's what we like and what we didn't like it about it in the first three years. All right, so this is pretty much our setup here. We always just kind of have it sitting on a chair because we used to just kind of either sit on the floor or sit on like a little black crate and stuff, but the dogs like to jump on it. So we put it in the chair and it seems to be at usually at a good angle to get the sun. But as you can see, it is still working for us. Um, you can tell that it's, it's definitely faded. Um, it's been in the sun a lot. So, but the solar panels still look really good. They definitely have some scrapes on it from the dogs and some dirt and mud and everything else. But we try to clean it off as much as possible. But yeah, they still are look like they're in really good shape and they're still uh, collecting sun. The grommets still are on there. We haven't really used them too much. There you go. That's what the color is supposed to look like. Um, but with our other one, we used to, when we uh, backpacked a little lot, we used to actually hang this to it. So we, uh, we did that a lot. And if we go on long... Just like day trips, we'll clip it onto our uh, backpack. Um, but they still, still seem to be holding up. As you can see there, the stitching is starting to fray. That's more from the sun again and the fact that we kind of fold it over the, the back of the chair here. But So that's starting to fray. Um, there's the front part of it. As always, zippers break. So this zipper broke, I don't know. It was definitely maybe a year ago. So it lasted two years, but the teeth are starting to... To give out so that kind of crapped out which whatever we used to keep the cords in there now we just keep our cords in another bag and then this is kind of the main thing that happened uh the the display screen here still works um it just has little like four little uh like knots or something that pretty much attaches it to to the fabric here but they all broke off so literally the only thing that was hanging on to it was the wiring so that didn't work out well when you had the cords going in here and draping and it just like was about ready to rip that off so i actually taped it and the tape really didn't seem to hold either so i actually sewed the tape onto it so that thing stayed still and that was probably about a year ago too that i did that but still seems to be working you just obviously can't read that i guess you could cut that out if you wanted to to see what your voltage is but that's probably the main issue that we've had with it um the the covers still work and they're still hanging on we make sure to keep those closed there hasn't been we're in a lot of sand and, and dust and stuff like that, and it seems to be still working really well. And this actually got left out. We went for a walk once, and it was raining, or decided to storm on us. So we uh, had to run back, and it still still works after that. So it had a little bit of, of water on it as well. So, But besides that, there we go. There's the front of it. That's pretty much looking good. Everything is still working on it. So if you're okay with a little bit of like cosmetic damage, then it's uh, not that big of a deal. The zipper's whatever, and that's whatever, as long as it's still working. But yeah, um, this thing's been working fantastic. We usually have two things plugged into it every day, and it seems to still be charging everything in uh, a great amount, a little bit, a little amount of time. Right now, the sun's out. I did have some stuff plugged in. I used to have like a battery pack or something plugged in, so I tuck it in behind there. But yeah, the cons, yeah, it's lasted three years, and for whatever, 60, 70 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. And I'm pretty sure the price is still within that range. Um, cons, I don't know. So far, I haven't really had anything bad, you know, besides the zipper, which whatever. That's I'm just used to zippers giving out, so I didn't really expect too much from that. And then that part falling off, which three years of everyday use for only 60 bucks, I figured it was going to have some wear and tear. But yeah, I can fix that stuff. So in the long run, this thing is has held up. And I know Big Blue sells some other solar panels, some bigger ones. So uh, once this one gives out, we're probably just going to get this one again. This thing has done everything that we needed it to. It's charged all our, our phone and our battery packs and our jackery and our light bulbs and all that stuff. We just have it sitting out all day, every day. So if you're looking at getting a solar panel, I would definitely suggest this one. I will put the link in the uh, description below if you're interested in purchasing it. But if you guys have any more questions on the solar panel, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.